In this video, we are going to test our connection between the inventory model, so what contains the data now about the items that we have in our inventory and the UI, and it will all be connected using the inventory controller. So this uh, UI sends the uh, call uh, or event that we, we want the description of the sword and the inventory controller fetches the data and sends it back to our UI so that we show the correct description of the item. So that's what we are going to do in this video. Now we have our inventory SO, at least we have started implementing this script. So what we can do is go to our data a folder and let's right click here create and we should have at the top our inventory so let's call it player inventory now we can organize our folders a bit better but basically this is what we are going to have here and the good thing about using scriptable objects to store the inventory is that in the inspector we can extend the list and we can set for example it to 5 and we are going to be able to see what is the element so what is the item here as well as the quantity of the item stored in our inventory so it will be very easy for us to verify the content of the inventory against what we see inside our uh, UI in the game now we cannot directly add here items because basically we need to define the size and we are going to initialize our inventory items but for the test purposes, let's set the inventory size to be, so, for example, 5 or, yeah, let's leave it at 10. We're going to add 10 inventory items. And as I have mentioned, they, they will be, uh, the default value will be assigned to our structs. So what we can do is select the first item and let's assign apple and let's give it 5 apples. And let's select the uh, second element, so not the first but second or rather third, we are going to set it to be one. So we have this one empty item in the middle here. So this will be our test data that we are going to use to test uh, to, in this video our inventory. To do that, we need to go to our player and we need to select our inventory controller script and let's click those three dots and edit the script because we need to tweak it. Great. Now inside our inventory controller, we already have a dependency on our inventory page on our ui inventory page we need to add another one serialized field and this will be private and we are going to type inventory so inventory data okay so now we do not need this inventory size here inside our inventory controller we can initialize our inventory by uh, inventory ui by calling inventory data dot size okay and we need to do the same with our inventory data. So inventory data dot initialize. We do not need to pass here anything because our inventory data knows its size. Uh, still, we need to initialize it in a mono behavior because scriptable object does not receive any callbacks. So we need to decide where to initialize our scriptable object. Now, when we show our inventory, what we want to do is basically for each, let's tap tab twice. And we are going to create this for each loop. And we want to look for each item in and we are going to ask our inventory data dot and we should have get current inventory state basically what it will return us is a uh, dictionary so each item will be a key value pair so what we can do is call on our inventory ui the update data method and this will be inventory ui update data and we are going to pass the item the key is the index uh, which item should we update so first item first parameter is item index and the second one is item sprite and the third one is item quantity so to get the uh, value or of the item we need to access item dot value this will be the value of this item and we are going to access item which will be scriptable object and item image and to get the quantity we need to access the item uh, the value so this is the inventory item and the quantity so this is the quantity of the item that we have in our inventory now before we can test it one thing that we need to disable is the initialization of our inventory data because we have assigned some data to it if we initialize it we are going to reset the data that we have set in the inventory so let's um, comment it using those slash symbols let's save our code now and let's go back to unity great so now let's select our player let's select the inventory controller and let's assign to it inventory data and let's assign player inventory 
and now if we try pressing play in our game we should press i and we should have those items showing up if we select item can we select it no we can't for some reason and this is because our inventory controller doesn't uh, currently respond to the uh, event that we want to ask for the description of this item so let's stop our game and let's implement this functionality so inside our scripts folder let's select our inventory controller and let's open this script up and currently inside our start method we have we have this line that initializes our inventory and let's select it let's right click on it quick actions extract method and let's call it prepare ui okay and now inside this method we are going to uh, below this initialization we are going to need to assign to our events from our ui inventory uh, to uh, the methods to handle those events one of which uh, one of those is on description requested so you need to type this inventory ui and dot and there are on description requested plus equals handle description requested right click on this method uh, without the parentheses at the end right click quick actions and generate this method do the same this inventory ui on swap items plus equals handle swap items right click quick actions and generate this method this inventory ui on start dragging plus equals handle dragging right click quick actions and generate this method and last thing will be this inventory ui on item action requested plus equals handle item action requested right click quick actions and generate this method okay and now we have those methods that will be assigned to those events that will correspond to the interaction of the user uh, and we are going to ask inventory model about the data and send it to our ui so basically we need to delete this those throw exceptions because we are going to implement those methods uh, one by one right now we are focused on the description request again we can select this obj control f and call it item index okay and uh, we should select uh, the select uh, change all so now all of those will be uh, modified and for the handle swap items we are going to have item index one and item index two okay so now let's focus on the handle description request basically what we need to do is get an inventory item let's call it inventory item and we need to get it from our inventory uh, model so we are going to set it equal to inventory data dot and we should have something like get item at and we need to pass the item index and this should be the method on our in our inventory data in our inventory model now we can check basically if inventory item dot uh, is empty if this is empty we can for, for example return else we should call something like inventory ui dot update description and i don't think that we have this method so we will need to create it to, so to update our description we need to pass the item index so the same that we have passed here and basically what do we need uh, to have is the item image item name and item description so we are going to uh, for example get item so item equals our inventory item dot item and now we can call our item dot name our item dot uh, description and let's pass maybe as the second argument item dot image okay so this would be our method that we need to have in our ui to set the description let's alt enter or right click on this quick actions and generate this method do the same with the get item at okay great so let's right click on this get item at and let's select go to the definition and we are going to make it into a public method and what we are going to do is since we are clicking on the ui item inside our inventory basically this means that we should have this item so here what we want to do is simply return our inventory and we should have items with the index item index 
since uh, we know that all the items are initialized so uh, at worst case scenario we are returning an empty item but we are taking care of it inside our inventory controller let's save this let's go back to our inventory controller and we need to select our update description right click on this get uh, go to the definition not the pick the definition right click go to the definition and here we need to introduce the way to update our description so basically what we have is the description and I think that we are calling the uh, item description. Okay, so item description dot update, or I think we had set description, and we need to pass the item image, the name, and the description. Okay, now one more thing that we need to do is select this item to show the border of it. So we are going to call our list of UI items with the index item index that's why we have passed it dot select okay and i wanted uh, not item image but item index but there might be also the case where something else is selected so what we need to have here is deselect all items method call so we deselect all the previously selected items and show the description of the current item and select this item okay with this done let's save all scripts so file and we should have save all and let's go back to unity okay let's press play let's try pressing i and let's select this item and we can see apple restore health but right now we can also select the sword and as you can see the item is being deselected because we are selecting the uh, uh, selectable item but if we click somewhere else nothing happens we may want to check against the empty item and then deselect the currently selected item so let's just implement this logic so back in our uh, handle description what we can do is open parentheses here inside this if check when we check if item is empty what we want to do is have something like inventory ui dot reset selection and i think that we already have this method so let's right click on this inventory ui go to the definition again right click on the ui inventory page go to the definition and if we slide down we will see that we have this reset selection method and let's let's make it into a public method because what it does is resets the description and deselects all items so let's save this file and save all and let's go back to unity okay we have no errors because i have probably typed correctly the name of the method so let's press play okay and now if we select something and select empty item we are going to see that our the ui is reset uh, we are resetting the selection and we are resetting the description great so we know that now our uh, our logic is working but now we are not going to be able to drag our items because we have disabled this logic and again our inventory controller is responsible to trigger this logic so we are going to finish implementing our connection between the inventory controller and the inventory model and the ui in the next video but before that i will want to talk about the namespaces and when we should use it and we are going to introduce some namespaces into our project if you are enjoying this tutorial leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel it would help me a lot see you in the next video